Welcome to PA Timber Goose. Today is December 10th. Another chilly Saturday morning. Let me move out of the sun here a little bit. Oh yeah, looks better. Another shot above me on top of the ridge. And uh, I still have yet to see a deer. Lots of layers on today. It's very cold. Uh, just got done eating my lunch. This time we're on the south side of the mountain. We, uh, we need a good deer drive to uh, get the deer moving. But unfortunately, it's very quiet. I hear some uh, some random shots through the through the mountains here, back and forth across the valley. But uh, only that only that one shot that was close to me this morning. It's kind of chilly up here. I'm on the south side, but uh, this is the side that the wind's hitting. We need a good deer drive today. That uh, would definitely get the deer moving, but. Uh, Unfortunately, there's not too many hunters in here today. There's a few at the parking lot at the bottom. We've had some, uh, I've, I've seen some very good deer drives and some very bad ones over the years. Some people do big deer drives, some people do small deer drives. Some were uh, very noisy when they go through the woods. Some are very silent. Some of the better deer drives I've seen over the years were actually small drives and uh, they made no noise. Basically, they would put a lot of blockers on the side and a few guys at the end and two in the middle. And uh, they would go across the ridges and the benches very quietly, not making any noise. And uh, I have gotten quite a few deer that way from other people putting on silent drives. Silent drives are very deadly as long as the two people do in the driving or uh, one of them's not way out in front of the other one because if it is, the deer will run through the gap in the middle. But, uh, you don't really have to make a lot of noise or bang on the trees. The deer will, uh, the deer will hear you coming, and they'll either run down the middle or they're cut, on, cut to the right or cut to the left. And uh, I've picked quite a few deer off being outside of the silent drives like that. The big drives are kind of funny. I kind of, you kind of feel like you're in Africa and you're chasing lions out the other side. You wait for the elephants to come by with the hunter sitting on top of the elephant, and waiting for the tiger to come out, and uh, the hunter's going to take him out. I've been in front of one of these, unfortunately. Hunting partner and I were in front of one of these quite a few years ago. And uh, his son was probably about 11 or 12 years old. And uh, there were so many, so many people coming at us, we didn't know what to do. So uh, fortunately, the area that we were in... Fortunately, the area that we were hunting in, there was a lot of big trees and boulders. And uh, we got down behind the boulders and the trees. And uh, eventually they came, they called up to us where we were sitting. I did have a deer in front of me and they uh, proceeded to scare that deer away. That deer were, <laughs> probably ran all the way into the next county never to be seen again. In Pennsylvania currently you're only allowed to have 20 people uh, during a deer drive and unfortunately this group of people had this group of hunters had more than 20 people. Uh, I counted about 50 people during that drive. We had about 15 coming at us and we were sitting on the gas line when he got to the gas line, he stopped. He looked at the bottom, and there was 15 guys on the bottom, and there was 12 or 15 on the top. So uh, that group of hunters had a, had about 50 people, and uh, that was kind of scary because if any any of those started shooting, they would hit us. And uh, if we if we shot any direction, we probably would have hit one of them because there were so many of them. Uh, it resulted in a confrontation with one of the hunters, and uh, he proceeded to tell me, "Well, you got blaze orange on, so you're safe." Well. Unfortunately, bullets go through blaze orange and uh, I mean we could have shot one of them or they could have shot one of us There were so many of them coming at us Large deer drives like that can be very dangerous. Uh, we do lose some hunters every year uh, The hunters lose track of where each other are and they get some crossfire somebody always ends up getting Wounded or uh, there's there can be a fatality from these drives um, If they're done correctly, they can be safe but a lot of times people panic, they get deer fever, and they start throwing lead, and uh, it has a very unfortunate outcome. I've done quite a few deer drives in, over the years, and uh, we've pushed a lot of deer out. <laughs> Fortunately, not to the people we were hunting with. <laughs> they ended up running into another hunter, and another hunter shot them. But uh, deer drives can be very tricky, and uh, some people are very good at doing deer drives. you got to be in the right spot at the right time. And you got to make sure you stay in the line and you know where everybody is. Go very slowly and uh, 
if you're going too fast, the deer will blow out the other end and uh, they'll blow by you so fast you won't even know what went by. If you run a slow drive, they uh they will come out at a, at a slower pace and uh, you have a better chance to harvest one of them. Very quiet, <clears throat> still no shots. I think uh, the deer up here are all hiding on the next mountain where there's no hunters or on their private property. I'm gonna walk down the ridge here and uh, see if I can catch something sitting on the bench. Supposed to get some snow tomorrow, one to two inches. And uh, that'll be the second snow up here for the year. Southeast, we didn't have any snow yet. Just a couple snow flurries, but uh, definitely something coming tomorrow. Fronts always make the deer move. And they're always good if you're gonna hunt. Let me turn the camera around here. You can see how high up on the mountain I am. It's very beautiful up here. Still a little chilly. Got a little bit of wind on the top. Pan around here. Get the panoramic view. A lot of hemlocks at the bottom of this mountain. Uh, this side over here is covered in white pine. Perfect spot for a deer to lay in the sun. You can hear some shots in the background. That's a couple of mountains away. And uh, this valley's pretty quiet today. A lot of times when you have a lot of hunters on the same side of the mountain, if uh, they start walking around, they'll push deer out to the other hunters. Fortunately, where I'm at today, there's not, uh, not many people on this side of the mountain. I don't think anybody will be pushing any deer to me. It's very quiet. Ever been in front of a giant deer drive? Uh, how do you feel about that? Are they safe or dangerous? Uh, how many people do you think are the best number to put on a deer drive? And uh, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching PA Timber Goose today. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Every time a new video goes up, you'll be notified. And uh, check out the community page. I've got a few surveys on there. Welcome to PA Timber Goose 2, a new channel for the PA Timber Goose series. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next video.